Well, hello, hello, hello. I quit using my iPhone, but I'm not gonna let that stop me because Apple Watches are smart, ridiculously smart. So smart even that they can capture pretty much everything that an iPhone can. And I never forget a single task even when I'm using my Apple Watch. When you see something like this on someone's wrist, you go, yeah, it doesn't really do much, right? Like it's not a really great product for being productive. However, the majority of the time when I end up checking my tasks or whatever, I actually am just, you know, working on my computer. I'm not looking at my watch like, ooh, what do I need to get done? And most of my task management's in Notion. So this tool right here doesn't actually have a Notion app. But what it can do is if I end up just pressing a single shortcut on my Apple Watch where it records audio, so then this starts recording and I can say, get to the store sometime today to grab milk talk to Chance about the thumbnail pictures he needs to record, and also make sure to record a video for your client today. Now, when this is finished, I can press save inside of this shortcut, and what it automatically does is it actually sends out a email with the attachment from my Apple Watch. <laughs> So if I go to shortcuts, you can see this a little bit more clearly. So let's go to the watch ones that I have here. And you'll see that if I go to edit, basically it uses the record audio function, then sends a recorded audio to my email. And the email is gonna be called task for notion. And I have it set up so that it doesn't have to ask when run, so it auto sends. Now, inside of my make.com module, I essentially have this set up so that every 30 minutes, this looks for in my email, task for Notion. It marks the email as read when fetched, and then it also moves the email to the trash, because that'd be gratuitous. It uploads this to Google Drive, and then from here, what I'm doing is I'm using the Whisper module in OpenAI to grab the file data from the email, name it what I named the Google Drive file, which is literally just the file name, and then I put a module here that says based on the text below, so what the whisper output is, because basically all this does is transcribe what I said. Based on that text, tell me in a format that is merely a number like this, without the quotes, to how many tasks there are. Then all of these essentially, if there's one task greater than one or it doesn't say anything, it'll put task one and it'll say, Based on the text below, what is the first task in this list? Respond by writing a concise name for it. And then from there, I said, based on the text below, please extract the text that is relevant to the first task in this list. In this list, I put the task and then referencing that module prior. And then I put the entirety of this below. So that is instructing the automation to essentially take the entirety of the text here and extract the verbal portion of it right here to get some more text for it. And this create database item essentially takes the name, adds it to my backlog of tasks, and then adds the text as to like, what is this even about, to the page content. So now when I press run once, this should do a couple of things. First of all, it should in theory, grab the email that I sent. It should then upload it to Google Drive. And then following that, it should figure out that there should be like three tasks the audio recording did cut off for a second, but it should have found it anyways. And then you'll see if I go to my tasks in Notion now, these are the three new tasks that were made. Make sure to record a video. So it grabs the text that actually said that. Talk to Chance about the thumbnail pictures. You see it grabs the entirety of the context and puts it here. Get to the store to grab milk. This adds the entirety of the context here as well. Now, this is pretty simple. This is pretty crazy, to be honest. Um, I haven't actually dealt with something this simple while being complex in a long time. You know, like there's automations where it's like, oh, it's it's crazy. To me, this didn't take that much work. It's essentially this first situation, then changing all of this to say like the second task in the list and then the third and the fourth and changing this filter here to how many did you find? Is it greater than or equal to three? Cool. Like I'm baffled at the fact that ChatGPT actually managed to do this, but this can be utilized for a myriad of different things. I also have an audio journal here, where if I literally do a similar 
automation that's on my watch face. I can press this and I can just start babbling. You know, I love all the work that I'm doing recently. It's been a great time. I'm just gonna audio journal into this as an example. There's nothing rather more happening that what I'm doing. I feel like I just said something that made no sense, but what does make sense is that this is done, press save. And then from there, very similarly, it's gonna send a different message out. So if we go to the shortcuts app, we can see that it's got the same record audio situation. Send it to admin at riseproductive.com, but I'm gonna send the email as audio journal. So then this is gonna do the same thing, right? Except for it's gonna look for audio journal. So you can do this for a myriad of different things. I can do it based on the priority of task and it would, if I worded it well, do the right thing and put it into the right priority. So that also can be the case for the way that you work with the chat GPT module. This is also gonna move it to the trash upload the file to Google Drive, create this inside of Notion, update the page so that it has a bit of a podcast microphone option here. And then from there, it's gonna append that page content with the journal, right? So I, I pretty much just automatically auto journaled. Um, if I wanted to get even crazier, I could have ChatGPT figure out like on a scale of one to five, you know, like what is the mood of the audio journal? I could totally do that. And then from there, it would add that as well. So this is pretty crazy, right? I'm able to take what I'm talking about. I could obviously have the ChatGPT figure out the name of the journal entry too, right? All you'd have to do there would be, I'm gonna grab this module. You can see right here, it's essentially the create a chat completion and go to like GPT-5 Turbo, then add a little message as an assistant. And I'm gonna say based on the text below, write a concise title that summarizes the journal entry as a name for it. So I can then from there do a little test run. So the name for this would be an enjoyable time reflecting on recent work. Okay, so then from there, I'm just gonna go inside here and change the name from audio journal entry to an enjoyable time reflecting on work. And then boom, I'm done. So this will work absolutely on your phone, on your Mac even. I start recording like this on my Mac and then press stop after I give it the task to finish a video today. You'll see that it will send out right here. It press sent and then that email should have already landed in my inbox. As you can see right here, this one with the attachment, the task for Notion, and then that entire process will move forward. This is a very simple set of automations that when pairing shortcuts and things like make.com, you can absolutely change the way that your daily life works. If you're trying to improve your productivity like this even more, make sure to check out other content like this one right here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.